Hi, my name is Andrew Dimmer and I'm the Developer Student Club Lead here at Oakland University. I know due to the COVID-19 virus, a lot of classes are moving to online instruction. So as a result, I wanted to film this tutorial series as a way to go demonstrate to teachers and professors how they can move their classes online using Google Meetings. In this tutorial, we'll be showing how to set up a Google Meeting for your class. Okay, so let's get started. Creating a Google Meeting is as simple as creating a Google Calendar event and doing one more button click. So if in case you don't use Google Calendar regularly, we can access it by going up to this waffle on any Google service, whether it be Google Drive, your Gmail, just the regular Google homepage, and clicking on the calendar link. Now, once we're here, to create a, a calendar event, you can click anywhere on your calendar, and it will pop up a new event. Now, because I'm creating an event for a Tuesday-Thursday class that I have from 10 a.m. to 11.47, I'm going to hit somewhere over here, and as you can see, it'll pop up an event. So as you can see by default, it's from 10.30 to 11.30, based on where I clicked. Well, that's okay. We can go change that by just clicking on any of these dropdowns, and I can either select a time, or if they don't have the time that you're looking for from the dropdown, I can also type in the time of my event. So we're going to say that this is 11.47. And as you can see, it has set the time. Now we can also give this event a title. So I'm going to give it the course number. And if we wanted to, we could give a description here. So if you've got any special instructions for your students, you can add this here and it will show up on the meeting, on the meeting information page. Now, if this is an event that goes on more than once, say it's that Tuesday, Thursday class, we can actually go to more options and set it up so that this one calendar event works for every lecture that you're going to give. To do that, we're going to set the recurrence of this event. So as you can see, there's a drop down here that says do not repeat. And that's how frequently this event reoccurs. If I hit the drop down here, it gives you some preset options. But in this particular case, I want custom. And I'm going to say that this event happens every Tuesday and Thursday. And it ends on April 18th, which is the last day of the semester before exams for me. Once I've configured the recurrence, I can click done and it will save that information. Now to add conferencing, basically to create it as a meeting, all we've got to do is hit add conferencing, click hangout meeting, and Google Hangout will automatically generate a meeting code for you. Now the last thing that you need to do to set up your event is you need to share it with your students. There are two ways we can do this. Number one, we can add the guests. If you already have an email list of your students, preferably their student emails, we can add them either by typing or by copying and pasting. If you don't have an email list of students that's just ready to copy and paste, that's also okay. You can, all you need to do is you can send them this link for however you normally send them messages, whether that be through something like Moodle, whether that be as an email, or whether that be through another messaging service. As long as they have this link and they know what time you're meeting at, they'll be able to join the meeting. So once all that's all set, we've given it a name, we've set the date and time, We've said if it's recurring or not, we've created the Hangout, and we've either added our guests or we're prepared to go share this link. We can hit Save, and as you can see, this calendar event has been created, and actually if we look, we have it created every Tuesday and Thursday until April 18th. In the next video, we'll go over how to go actually join and use your Google Meeting.